What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey, my name's Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review. Today we're looking at Tamdu, 12 year old. Stick around. So we've got a Tamdu with us today. Tamdu is a Speyside distillery, they're owned by Ian McLeod. Uh, McLeod acquired the distillery in 2013 from the Edrington Group, who also own Highland Park and McAllen. Um, in 2018, they kind of revamped their lineup, shuffled things around, and they came out with some new releases, including our 12-year-old here. Prior to this one coming out, Tamdu did have a 10-year-old on the market, but they discontinued that when they brought out the 12-year-old. So kind of a unique situation. You don't see it happen too much in whiskey where a brand will discontinue a slightly younger version to bring out a slightly older version in its place. It's usually the other way around, so kind of cool there. Uh, our 12-year-old here entirely matured in sherry casks. Some of those are going to be first fill sherry and some of them refill. Around the same time this one came out, they also put out a 15-year-old and they started in on their batch strength or cast strength expressions, all of which have been pretty well received. Now, uh, Tamdu only uses sherry casks to mature their whiskeys. They do source barrels from places like the States, but even those barrels are going to be sherry seasoned. Um, I think Tamdu as a brand has been picking up a lot of steam over the last few years. I certainly hadn't heard of them up until a few years ago, and I think people are starting to recognize, especially after the revamp, that there's actually some good quality stuff coming from this distillery. I think from the Tamdu lineup, their biggest superstar is probably going to be those batch strength expressions just because cast strength whiskeys are always pretty sexy. Uh, follow that up with the 15 year old. The 15 year old of course has the higher age statement, but it also has a higher ABV. Now this 12 year old, I think by comparison, the reception has been a little bit more lukewarm. Again, lower ABV, entry level. Um, I've had the whole lineup and I can say this is going to be probably the least flashy among them. But flashy isn't always that important and sometimes a lot of these more subdued whiskeys turn out to be hidden gems. So with that said, why don't we hop into a review of this one, see what it's all about, and in the meantime, if you can kindly leave a like down below, that would be greatly appreciated. With regards to specs, this one comes in at 43%, which admittedly is not great, but I can deal with a 43% whiskey as long as your quality is good. Uh, luckily, the rest of our specs are looking just fine. This is non-chill filtered and it's naturally colored, so we get 2 out of 3. So you can take a look at our natural color here. Um, the bottle's definitely unique. I think they're going for kind of like an Art Deco, Great Gatsby, Roaring Twenties type vibe, which I'm, I'm okay with that. I dig it. I also like that we have this concave base. Just from a practical standpoint, this is very easy to grip, easy to pour. So yeah, definitely a unique look. Um, not totally my style, but I can appreciate it. My presentation score is going to be maybe three and a half out of five. Uh, they should be giving us a little bit more info on the bottle. It's non-chill filtered, they could say that. Luckily, they do say it's naturally colored on the back. So yeah, not totally my look, but definitely one that I think stands out on the bar shelf, does command some attention. Let's try our nose. Very nice. So you're getting uh, raisins, you're getting dates, very clean sherry here. Uh, you're getting kind of some bright florals some cinnamon buns, some nuts, some apples, some oranges, definitely some vanilla and some cream. This is a great display of the Tamdu house style right off the bat. Now for the palette. Mm, mm. Gentle, this has got kind of like a light and fluffy texture, kind of like a dessert mousse, like kind of silky and creamy. Vanilla is very natural here. Um, you also have marshmallow, you have orange creamsicle, you have these rounded earthy notes, still more of those bright floral notes in here. What else? Nuts, grape juice, uh, clean sherry, and Rocky Road ice cream. Now for our finish. Mm. Okay, we're getting nuttier here. Um, by no means is this a dry whiskey, but just a little touch of drying oak in here. Flavors coming in on chestnuts, uh, rum raisin, there's some roasted marshmallows, oranges, and kind of interesting, like a, a very clean resinous note. Um, overall, I'd say length is about medium, so medium in length, but yeah, just damn good. 
So I've been looking forward to this review for a little while. In case you didn't glean it from the tasting notes, I do enjoy this one. And I'd go so far as to say I enjoy pretty much every Tamdu I've tried of late. I didn't know much about them before that revamp in 2018, but since then I have explored their range a little bit. I've tried a few of their batch strength expressions. I've got a bottle of the 15 on the go right now. Clearly I've got the 12 on the go. I do like pretty much everything they've been putting out. I think the Tamdu has a very unique house style. For me, the key word to define it would be elegant. Uh, they specialize in sherry, but they do it like no one else. Um, I think they've got a beautiful distillate, and it comes together with those sherry casts very nicely. Now, in my limited experience with Tamdu, like I said, I've only gotten to know them over the last few years. I can say with some certainty that the cask management at Tamdu is on point. And I'm not exaggerating when I say I think this is one of the most elegant sherry 12 year olds on the market today. Now it is no sherry bomb, it doesn't have a high ABV, it's not an intense whiskey, this is soft, it's gentle, it's delicate, but that works for the kind of profile we're getting here. Now if you want to compare this to other whiskeys that are kind of known for being elegant, like let's say Macallan for example, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this can go head to head with any 12 year old Macallan on the market today and come out on top. And speaking personally, Tamdu is kind of what I want Macallan to be. Now, Macallan is a great distillery, beautiful flavors. I think they make some great whiskeys, but they're expensive, first of all, and their entry-level expressions come in at 40%. Now, this one is going to be a little bit cheaper. That extra 3% in the ABV does make a difference. And beyond that, I think the Tamdu house style is every bit as good as the Macallan house style. Now coming back around to the 12 year old specifically, I think this is a great whiskey. The flavors come on so measured. It's such a great combination of flavors. You have those creamy notes, those floral notes, marshmallow notes, and that clean sherry in there. I just really do enjoy the Tamdu house style. I think it's very unique. I think it's very distinctive. I think if you gave me a blindfold and you asked me to pick out the Tamdu from a lineup of sherried whiskeys, I'd be able to do it no problem. Now I'm on my second or third bottle of this one and when it's done I'll probably be coming back around to it pretty soon because it's just one that I reach for very very often. It always delivers. I've had this in sessions with you know 18 year olds, heavy hitters, expensive whiskeys. This one always holds its ground. It always tastes delicious. Pure class. My score here is going to be 89. I absolutely love this stuff. I think it's beautiful but I should stress that generally speaking I'm pretty okay with these lighter whiskeys. 40% is pushing it, but I do like a lot of 43% whiskeys as long as you give me that quality, as long as you give me those flavors. Now, a lot of you out there might be looking for something with a higher ABV, more intensity. If you're looking for a sherry bomb, look away, this isn't it. If you're looking for an alternative for, let's say, a Macallan 12, for example, this might be a good option. Like I said, very gentle, very elegant. It's got some sophisticated flavors, and I really do enjoy it. I think for value, we're getting a pretty good deal here. This one is pretty affordable. It's at the high end of entry level for a 12-year-old sherried whiskey. I'm totally good with that. It is going to be cheaper than a Macallan 12-year-old. Now, it is slightly more expensive than stuff like Glendronic 12 or Bonahabin 12. Great entry-level sherried whiskeys from other distilleries, but those ones have a completely different profile. If you're looking for something that's more akin to a Macallan, this is probably your best bet. I absolutely love it. Definitely worth the price of admission. All right, that'll be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. Now, I do want to hear from you. Have you tried Tamdu 12? Have you tried anything else from the range? What were your thoughts? And finally, down in the comments, let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.